Fremantle Media Australia is the country's market leader of the creation and production of entertainment brands. The impact of Fremantle Media Australia on Australian television has been great, with programming such as X Factor to Neighbours. Today we sat down with Derek G, a development producer at Fremantle Media, to find out about his thoughts about being a good communicator, ethics he's had to face, and his perspective about the future of communications. The key to a good communicator is to be a good listener. I've experienced a lot of people that have talked a lot, but haven't heard the voices from around the room, and you know, communicate an idea, a story, or, uh, you know, a, a piece of content that doesn't speak to anyone because they haven't listened to anyone. If you want a, a, a more world view of an idea or something that you want to communicate, I think collaboration is vital. The importance of communication to society is just so that they can they can see some something outside of their normal existence and kind of broaden their imagination their, and their ideas and give them insight into other worlds. Communication can just become a series of bites of information and I think that's a problem. I think that um, the way that you take a bit of information over here and over here and put them together to make a beautiful story or to make a point, to put a point across succinctly and communicate um, a different point I think is something that not only helps people to understand different parts of society, but helps people to enjoy life. But I think the biggest thing, especially learning this from my company about how to communicate to an audience is through the story behind it. You know, one of the big things on our talent shows is that when we look for talent it's not only how talented they are, but what sort of stories they have behind But it really does add an extra layer to the story which makes you connect with the audience a lot more. Considering ethics in communication is an interesting topic because I think it's, it's very personal. There, there, is no, there are no constraints. Well, I feel that there have been no constraints working in TV, but you do have to take you know, a moral high ground on certain things. Working on it, we work hard to make sure that the stories that we're telling and the outcomes that we have and the psychological repercussions of those people on those, sh those shows is positive. Um, and we look back at what has been done and how they did that wrong. You know, some people might think of it as yeah, taking advantage, but I see it as using them to highlight an issue which will help them in the long term. Social media has affected communication positively and negatively. I think that um, you get an instant, you get instant feedback for one, which I think is great. On Twitter, I might share an article that I might find interesting. You know, therefore, t making that communication a piece of my own. Detrimentally, I think that social media can have more sway than it should. I think the future of communication will go two ways. That there will be a distinct skew towards just information-based communication, and then there'll be the other shift, which is it's happening already which is you know, very specialised um, forms of communication that really respect and take the time to communicate ideas and opinions and stories. The best way that you could analogise it is fast food to slow home cooking. I think that's how communication will be. Um, you know, as fast food has arguably has its place. Um, it's disgusting and um, cheap, but you know people will eat it and they'll get no nutritional value out of it, but you know it'll be there to easily be consumed and then there'll be a slow food that you'll spend hours and hours and hours to make and you'll get a much richer experience out of it. It might take you the same amount of time to read, but the, the, the experience will last a lot longer and you'll remember that experience for a long time to come. And I think that's where communication is heading.